reminder, uh, we were looking at chemical reaction, and a chemical reaction is a chemical process that occurs when two or more substances react to form new substances. Then we also looked at reactants, and we said reactants are the substances that react <coughs> sorry, in a chemical reaction, and products are the substances that are made as a result of what a chemical reaction. And then when we come to balance equation, it's an equation in which there is exactly the same number of atoms on the reactant side as the product. Okay, so our lesson objectives are that by the end of the lesson, we should be able to what, uh, balance uh, and unbalance equations, identify balance and unbalance equations for chemical reaction, write equations in such a way that the number and, and type of atoms of the reactants are the same as the number and types of atoms of the product, write equations for chemical reactions using the format reaction on left-hand side, reaction arrow, product on right-hand side, and then we will describe the word, the law of conservation of matter. All right, so what is the product of a chemical reaction? That's just by the way. So as you can see, a substance that is made as a result of what a chemical reaction is simply the product. And when we are looking at balance equations, we always write the reactants on the left-hand side of the reaction arrow, and then the products on the right-hand side of the reaction arrow. A balance equation has the same number of atoms on each side of the what reaction arrow. Number of at no atoms are lost or gained in a chemical reaction. They are just rearranged. This is called conservation of matter. So what is a balance equation? A balance equation is an equation, you see point two. A balance equation is an equation in which we have same number of atoms on each side of the reaction arrow. In another way, we can say a balance equation is an equation that has the same number of atoms on the left-hand side as well as on the right-hand side of the equation. All right. So if you are following and you can hear me, what did I say? What is a balance equation? Explain it in your own words. Um, okay, I wanted to, uh, if you are following, please try to get back to me. I said, what is, explain a, a balance equation in your own words. If you are listening and you are following, get back to me now before I continue. Are we together? Are you listening to me? Lenas? I'm saying if you are listening to me, uh, I've just explained a, a balance equation. And if you did understood me, I want you to explain it in your own words. So that's what I'm waiting for. I can see that everybody is quiet. What is happening here? I can see everybody is quiet. What is happening? What is happening here? Okay. All right. So let's continue. All right. Now let's look at a uh, All right. Okay. We are welcome. All right. All right, fantastic. Okay, at least you have an idea about what we are doing. So let's continue. Your contributions are warmly welcome. All right, now uh, let's look at the balance equation, a uh, balanced chemical equation. Now this example, we are looking at what? Copper chloride, formation of copper chloride. So you will see that uh, copper, is reacting with chlorine 
atoms or molecules to give us what copper chloride. So now these points are going to explain what we have, what we are looking at in the example, a balanced chemical reaction. So there are two chlorine atoms and one copper atom in the reactant on the left hand side. So as you can see, so this is copper Cu plus chlorine Cl. The chlorine atoms are bonded. So you see, so we have got two chlorine atoms bonded together to give you a chlorine molecule. Now let's go to B. There are two chlorine atoms and one chlorine atom in the product. So as you can see, copper and then Clu on the right hand side. The atoms are also what bonded. It means they are joined together. Now, if we check the same number of atoms appear appears on each side of the reaction arrow. So this arrow, which is bolded, is called the reaction arrow. So we can say that the chemical reaction is balanced. So now let's check. So if we want to check, on my left hand side, the reactance copper is one. And then on my right hand side, copper is also one. Let's go again on my right hand side, chlorine, you have got two atoms there. And then on the uh, left hand side, chlorine, we have got also two. So the same number of atoms on the left hand side and the same number of atoms on the what? right hand side. Hence telling us that the equation is balanced. So let's go to back to bullet D. Now no atoms have been gained or lost in the word chemical reaction. So basically that is conservation of matter. Now the same number of atoms appears on each side of the reaction arrow. So we can see that the chemical reaction is balanced. So just as I was explaining it earlier, during the chemical reaction, the bonded atoms in the reactant broke and formed the new products in the, and formed new bonds in the product. What he's saying is that, uh, so before copper chloride will be formed, chlorine broke up, the atoms in chlorine got broken up and they rearrange with copper to then give you this. All right. Now let's go to the next. Okay. Now, um, so let's go on. So I have got a, a, a simple task here. Now, and I want you to answer them here. Now, if I say, if I say, if there are three atoms in the react in the reactant. How many atoms should there be in the product if it is a balanced equation? Yes, can somebody come back to me? And B, I repeat, I'm just checking what we have learned. If there are three atoms in the reactant, how many atoms should there be in the product? If it is a balanced equation, that's one. B, if there are two atoms in the product, how many atoms should there be in the reactant? If it is a balanced equation. Yes, send me your answers. Send me your answers. V very good, very good. Tando, that's good, good. Okay. And the what of B? What of B? I can see clip Taylor. Okay, correct. There should be three atoms in the product. Perfectly correct. I'm only seeing Tando and clip Taylor. Hey, where are these ones? Amraha, I'm not hearing you. Butle, Kai, Kamo, Kanya, Onka, Ongaste. I'm not hearing Mitch. I'm not hearing your voices here on the chat room. Are you people still alive there? Try to get involved. Get involved. It's only Tando and Kleptora who are busy here replying. So also I want to see you people interacting also. All right, so let's see. Now, if I go to the next slide, you will see that you are perfectly correct. So Tando, you are correct, and Kleptera, you are correct. Answers to the checkpoint. So there should be three atoms so that to make it balance for A and B, two atoms to make it balance for B. All right, now let's go to this. Let's come to this task. You are going to do this task. You see, there is activity one there. Then what you do is that you have to check through and then you answer this question. Task one is talking about check whether the same elements are present in the reactant and product. So you must write, 
now you, you have to use this clue. Consider the above diagram. Each diagram shows a chemical reaction expressed as follows. Reactants, then giving us products. So study the, reac the reaction diagrams carefully. Note the elements in the reactant and product of each reaction. If the same elements are not present in the reactant and the product of the reaction, then the reaction cannot be balanced. So you have to check. So these are the questions you have to answer, task one and task two. Task one, you check and state whether the same elements are present in the reactant and product. And task two, you have to count. Or if you want, you can, okay, don't leave out task one, just do it. Then for task two, you have to count. Count the number of atoms in the reactant and product. So you see, so you are going to say chemical reaction one, you count, you write down. Then you go check whether the same number of atoms is present in the reactant and product. And then state whether the chemical reaction is balanced, give a reason for your answer. So you have to do that for equation one or activity one and you do that for activity two. So it means if you take activity one or equation, chemical equation one, you have to answer one, you have to answer two, you have to answer three. Okay, I hope you get the instruction. All right, then get busy. Then after we are done, we, have, we are going to also play Kahoot today which are questions in chemical equations. So if you didn't hear the instruction, uh, you are welcome to send a message so that I can uh, explain to you again. Yes, I hope you, you, you are typing. If you are not clear with the instruction, you can please get back to me. Waiting, waiting, I'm waiting. And I'm sure you are busy typing there, that is cool. Let's get going. I hope you are winning that side. My learners, let's go on. So you have to check the equation one and equation two. And then you count the number of atoms in the reactants and products. And check whether the same number of atoms is present in the reactant and product. And state whether the chemical reaction is balanced. And then give a reason for your answer.
Okay. I was just saying maybe you are typing now since you you people are quiet. So that's what I'm saying. Yes, uh, do it and answer it step by step, Onka. You do it, just do it, write one. You take chemical equation one, then you come and write, you check and answer one, two, three. Uh -huh. So you number them like what you are seeing, one, and then you give the answer. Okay, I'm waiting. So take your time and type well. Okay. Yes, you are going to, you are answering all of them. You take number one, then you answer the questions. So when you are done, you take number two and you answer the questions. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So Tando, you are answering the two questions. You take one, if you check inside the box, you are seeing one and two. So you take equation one and answer the questions. You count the number of atoms in each reactant and product. So you count. You take equation one, you count the reactants and the number of product. Then check whether the same number, whether the number of atoms present in the reactant and product are what? Whether the same number of atoms is present in the reactant and product. Then three, you state whether the chemical reaction is balanced and give a reason for your answer. Onka, check, check, check your equation again. Look at the picture diagrams and and correct your and correct your equation. You are almost there, so just check it well. Tando, did you hear what I said? Okay, so let's get going. All right, that's great. And Onka, 
Okay, I said check, check, check your equation and look at the what you have on your screen and check to uh, correct your equation there. Just look at it critically. All right, so fine. So rewrite it again. Rewrite it. Okay, your reactants are correct. So rewrite again and put the correct uh, products there. And then you are done. Let's be fast. Perfect. Yes. That's perfect, Onka. Um, so proceed. Then you have to check that you see uh, task two. You count the, the same number of atoms in the reactor. You're supposed to even count but you're not supposed to write, but it's fine. Even if you manage to write the equation like Onka did, that is fine also. But you're supposed to count the number of atoms in the reactant and product. So when you count, you will check whether they say they are the same number of atoms in, uh, present in the reactant and product. And if they are the same, you have to state whether the chemical reaction is balanced. And then you give a reason for your answer. So that's what you're supposed to do, okay? Um, let's get going. In the next few minutes, I'm, I'm moving away from the slide so that we do the corrections. We have to be very fast. We have to be very fast. All right. Let's get going, let's get going. All right, let me see. A Daisy, I'm not, a days. I'm not hearing Mitch, I'm not hearing from you. Uh, crazy. I'm not hearing from you, Kanya. I'm not hearing from you, Kai. I'm not hearing from you, James. I'm not hearing from you, Kamo. I'm not hearing from you, Amraha, Bootle. I hope you people are fine there. Okay, perfect. All right, I, I get, uh, okay. So what is your answers? Like Tando did, that's good. You're supposed to do that. Okay. Now let's go, let's go to, the, to, the, to the next slide for you to see your effort, whether you were correct or not. Uh, those ones you got right and those you need to adjust. All right. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Yes, so this is what you were supposed to do. So you say task one, this chemical reaction one, the same elements, namely sodium, hydrogen, and oxygen are present in the reactants and product. That's what you were supposed to do. Then you task, the, then you come to, uh, we are still in task one, then you come to e chemical equation two. The elements, hydrogen and oxygen are present in the reactants and product. That's what you were supposed to do. 
Then when we come to task, task two, you say chemical reaction one, there is one sodium, one oxygen, and two hydrogen atoms on the left-hand side. But one sodium and one oxygen and three hydrogen atoms on the left-hand side. Okay. Then chemical equation two, you see there are two hydro oxygen atoms and two hydrogen atoms on the left, but one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms on the right. So the chemical reaction is not balanced, as Tando was saying. So because there is not, there are not, there is not the same, or there are not the same number of atoms in the reactant and product. Perfect. Tando, you have done well. You are able to manage to see that it's not balanced. Then chemical reaction two is not balanced because there is not the same number of what atoms in the reactant and product. We are still in task two. So you, that is your motivation. Perfect. Let me see somebody is sending me a message. All right. Yes, we are going to do Kohut. No, I will have to switch off from here. Then, the, then when I go to Kohut, it will generate the code automatically for me, for you to see. So just relax a bit. I will go there soon. Okay. Now, do this one. This is a homework. Write this one down before we go to Kohut. Uh, potassium chloride decomposes to give potassium chloride and oxygen gas. You have to write a word equation for the reaction, and then you write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction. So this is a homework. So you must write it down. Write it down before we move on, or you take a screenshot. You take a screenshot. All right, I'm moving away from here and then we're going to Kohut to play. All right, can I move away? Are you done writing the, the homework? Are you done writing the homework? All right, perfect. So, I'm just going to, so thank you for coming and enjoy the rest of your day. Now we are going to Kohut again. So we're going to Kohut. We're going to Kohut. Uh, sorry, we're going to Kohut. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to new, Perfect. All right. Can you see the slide? Can you see the slide? Get back to me if you can see it. But it's is 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 coming up a bit. Okay. You can see it, yes, perfect. Now listen, all these ones that we are going to do, the questions they are about uh, chemical reaction and more especially chemical equations. So if you are ready, let's get going. So just watch, the, the pin will come up soon. The, yeah, this is, the, so let's write down the pin. I'm writing it down. So the pin is six five one two five zero. So let's join. So you can join at www.kohoot.it or if you have the Kohoot app, you just join with the pin. Perfect. All right. All right, I have on guard, sir. 
quiz, you see, and Q. I'm waiting for the other people to come and then we play the game now. So by the end of the game, you should even get more deeper understanding about the topic that we just did. I'm just waiting for more players here. Yeah, Tando is here. I can see Onka. Yeah, Tabisa is here. Uh, Nozipo, you are also here. I can see you at the eyes. Kai, I can see you. Kanya, you can, I can see you. Kamo, James. Butler, Kepera. Okay, Amraha, I hope you are fine there. Try to join so that it's gonna be fun. So these are six people. All right, there we go. Then the rest will join us on the way. So let's start. Okay. All right, question one, the arrow in a chemical equation means, the arrow in a chemical equation means, yes, yield, perfect. So four people got this one right and only one got it wrong. Let's see, yes, all of you got it right. But Nosipo was the first to answer, followed by Cleo on, on Gatze, uh, and then Crazy. Let's go to the next. Two chemical equations. Chemical equations. Perfect, two people got this one right, and two people missed it. Okay, so let's go and see. Yes, Cleo, Cleo and Nongase. Cleo answered first. All right, so let's go to the next. A synthesis. All right. A synthesis reaction is a chemical reaction in which, in which, or when two or more reactants combine to form a what? A single product. Yeah. Two people got this one right, and three didn't. Let's see those people. Okay. Yes. So the first person to answer, so two people got it right, but the first to answer was on Garfe and Crazy. Okay. Let's go on. Where do the list, where do you list the number of elements when trying to balance the equation? Where do you list the number of elements when trying to balance chemical equations? Yeah, two people got this one right under each side. Okay, let's go on. Cleo has taken over. Because atoms are conserved in chemical reactions, chemical equations must be include subscript, the balance, be written in English, all of the others or all of the above. Okay, should be balanced. Perfect. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Let's get going. The scoreboard is 
I'm sure you are reading the scoreboard. Let's go to question six. What does a chemical equation represent? Yeah, five people got this one right. You all did well. All right, Tando has the highest answer streak of three. Let's go on. Why are equations balanced? It will create a black hole. It would make a nuclear explosion. God says otherwise, the law of conservation. Okay, perfect. Let's go to the next. Question eight, chemical equations are written Yes, four people got this one right. That's perfect. Let's go to the next. Tando has a streak of, with five answers in a row. That's why she is having a flame there. Let's go on to question nine. True or false? Equation is a written representation of a chemical reaction. True or false? Yeah, true. Only one got this one wrong. Okay, so let's continue. Cleo is leading now, and Cleo has also got six in a row. Which of this is not a chemical reaction? Which of this is not a chemical reaction? Burning wood, rusting nails, baking bread, butter in an oven, and ripping a paper. All right, question three, that's perfect. Three people got this one right. Okay, so let's go on the scoreboard. It's showing you Cleo has now seven strict correct answers in a row. Well done. Let's go to question 11, chemical reactions. Chemical reactions. Okay, only in living organism. Create and destroy atoms. Only okay outside living organism. Produce new substances. Perfect. Five people got this one right. That's we are well all well done. To you all. Okay, last but not the least, Cleo is leading on the board. And on gas it's called in a strict in chemical equations dash represent the number of units of each substance we have precipitate we have product we have reactants and we have coefficients all right the clock is ticking the clock is ticking Nineteen seconds to go. Perfect. It represents the coefficient. So let's see.
So Clio. Followed by Crazy and Onka. Well done to you all. All right. So we have come to the end of the lesson. And then if you have any question, you may ask. All right. Yeah, well done, everyone. Okay, keep it up, enjoy the rest of your day, and be safe.